Ruben Amarim, Roberto De Zerbi, Jose Mourinho, Xabi Alonso, who could be the next Chelsea manager? Or is it going to be Pochettino? Will he win us over and will he get Chelsea back to where we believe Chelsea belong? Yes, guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the George Benson Football Channel. Of course, today we're going to be discussing new Chelsea managers. We're going to use the Chelsea media, use Chelsea news as the vehicle of discussion. And as always, let me know in the comments down below what you feel about the managers that we're going to raise the points for today. And we're also going to talk about Chelsea's FA Cup run and how this really could be the final nail in the coffin if something goes terribly wrong in 11 days' time against Leicester. But let's begin by taking a look at Roberto Di Zerbi. Clubs looking at Roberto Di Zerbi as a potential manager will have to pay compensation upwards of 12 million quid to secure the Italian from Brighton in the summer. There is just like, as much as I've said that I don't really want Pochettino to manage Chelsea anymore, I've given my reasons for that often, but I'll top line it again. I think the way that he thinks it's acceptable and it's a good result to get a draw after playing three games in six days at Brentford, that's not really the Chelsea that we know. We've not had to do that very often this season. Secondly, I do think there is a lot of PR and there's a lot of yesing to things that should be no's. There's a lack of questions that do require answers that's being asked to get Chelsea to where we belong what we think we belong at as fans. Do you know what I mean? Pochettino doesn't seem to have that fire doesn't seem to have that winning mentality that we know top managers need. I watched a brilliant interview with Petr Cech with John Obi Mikel. Oh, at least I saw this clip. I haven't watched the full interview yet. But Petr Cech's talking in that interview about Mourinho and about Arsene Wenger and how as much as Wenger came across maybe as a bit brittle by the end of his Arsenal career, those two hated losing. Can you compare Maurizio Pochettino to that? Can you speak about Pochettino in that same breath as two great elite managers of, of history, Mourinho, Wenger. Can you put Pochettino in that bracket? The answer is no. There isn't debates to be had here. He's not a winner. So that is an issue for Chelsea. The issue I also have, and I don't know if it's just like the surface layer suggests that we're going round in circles, but I mean, haven't we been in a position where we're giving Brighton in excess of eight figures just to take a manager from them before? And I'm not going to lie to you, Roberto De Zerbi, I've not spoken about him that much. Roberto De Zerbi, I have no doubts, is a really good manager. And I certainly feel as though he has an identifiable style of play that Chelsea currently don't have, which I do think would help to nurture such a young team into at least something. I'm not saying that it's got to be this or it's got to be that. And I don't even think Chelsea, as a club right now, understands the profile of players that we have because we've bought so many of these players because of their adaptability, because they could play here or they can play there. And do you know what I mean? Like, we don't fully understand the profile of this squad yet to be able to say, well, this squad needs a manager with that profile. I don't think we're there. A lot of people seem to think we are. I personally don't think we are. But with De Zerbi, I think there's no denying he's done a really good job. Even this season at Brighton, people are like, yeah, well, he's... He's not taking them into the Champions League. Unai Emery has nearly taken Aston Villa to the Champions League. But Brighton have lost so many top players, so many members of staff. They've invested really well. And we know that behind the scenes, the transfers, the people that the scouting department is fantastic. But I will say that considering they've had European football, lost so many key players, McAllister, Caicedo, lost an entire world-class potentially midfield. And yet they're still in the knockout rounds of Europe. They're still in contention to qualify again. That is something that shouldn't go unnoticed. There's a there's a weird little group that hate De Zerbi and don't think he's very good. And I do agree, there are definitely defensive elements of the way that he sets out that Brighton side, which which is not, it's just incredibly flawed. Sometimes the attacking play is flawless, but it's not as a whole a perfect product. But it's also Brighton. You know, we're not expecting Brighton to be... Manchester City. I do think that if Roberto De Zerbi had even better players, I think De Zerbi could go to a Man City. Not not like Eclipse Guardiola, but I think he could do a decent job. I think De Zerbi could go to Liverpool and do a really good job. But at Chelsea, we don't really understand what we are yet. So I think having a manager who isn't quite at that this is non-negotiable, this is the way it is, this is what I do, this is what I deliver. De Zerbi's not there yet. He's not, he's not delivering enough with that winning elite kind of mentality that we keep using those phrases. But 
Chelsea, I think, need a winner and need someone who has been proven at the very top for a longer period of time to come in and kind of just iron out the creases that is that lack of profiling and understanding of the squad. I think we need a manager to do that. As much as Zerbi has worked really well with Levi Colwell, obviously we saw Moises Caicedo, completely brilliant player under Roberto De Zerbi. It's because of everything else around him. You can't just take De Zerbi, drop him into this Chelsea team, expect Caicedo to then be unbeatable. Expect all of the other Chelsea players to be better than those. No, that's not the way this is going to work. For me, De Zerbi I'm not convinced by because I think he needs at least one more job before he takes a job where the expectations are so high and it's only about getting to the top. That's where it should be for Chelsea, at least. And I mean the top, qualifying for the Champions League, not winning the Premier League. That's not going to happen for a very long time. Let's move into the current situation with Maurizio Pochettino here. This comes from Ben Jacobs. Chelsea are totally focused on a strong FA Cup run and finish to the season with a desire to make it work with Maurizio Pochettino. To be quite honest, as much as I am not the biggest Pochettino fan at this point, I certainly feel as though there could be something to be said here by not just making a decision to sack him now and employ someone new. And it comes back to that expectation conversation again. I do think that there is a chance that Chelsea, even with Pochettino, can get far in the FA Cup. Then I would also say that if Pochettino wins the FA Cup, by... I'm still not going to think that he is a, that that winner to actually make sure that Chelsea can build upon that success. But I certainly feel as though there would be respect that would need to be put on Poch's name if he was to win the FA Cup for Chelsea. But that is insinuating that we beat Leicester. That's insinuating that we can get past one of Man United, Liverpool, uh, Manchester City, who are still in this competition. That's going to be incredibly difficult for Chelsea to do, to be quite honest. So... At this point in time, I can understand why he's not been fired right now because I don't think, as we go further into this video, I don't see a ready-made replacement yet. So it makes sense to me as to why we're not getting rid of him right this second as much as I kind of want us to. Do you know what I mean? We move. Let's talk now about Jose Mourinho. And I don't necessarily want to talk about Mourinho by saying, yep, I want Mourinho back at Chelsea because there are so many reasons, despite my my sentiment behind loving Mourinho. He is a winner and I do think he would fix the mentality, but it would be short term. He struggles sometimes to work with young players. He needs leaders in his team to help him lead in order to get the best out of the young players, if that's what he's forced to work with. And I just think in terms of the ownership and what they want from a manager, Mourinho isn't that. And there's a conversation to be had here because there is talk right now that the issue regarding Chelsea even returning to someone like a Jose Mourinho, one individual involved in the Chelsea project suggested it would send the wrong message if they returned to the face of the old ownership and hire Jose Mourinho. I have got one massive problem with this. It's not the avoidance of going back to Mourinho. It is the fact that those currently within the Chelsea project, if we take what this tweet says here as a gospel truth, which it very likely could be, let's say, there's a big issue with the reluctance to look at certain elements of the previous ownership to understand why they were so great. And there seems to be such a heavy focus on these new owners doing it their way and being different, that, that, that that's the discourse right now at Chelsea Football Club is that was the identity. This is now the identity. And because we were successful there as fans, when we look at this and we don't like it, it's hard for us to accept. But for the new ownership who are here on this hand that I'm pushing at the camera lens right now, there isn't any looking at this and thinking we can take some of that, take some of... There is nothing that is going to make what was such a successful era for Chelsea. We aren't using any of this to get here. We're not doing any of it because we're so stubborn. And I say we, the ownership and those currently at the top of the hierarchy are so stubborn that their unwillingness to change anything and to see errors that have been made need to be rectified by holding your hands up and just being like, you know what? 
We don't really know what we're doing, but we've tried our best, but our best wasn't good enough, so therefore we take something from that old style, that old ownership. That's what Chelsea need to look at. It's not necessarily Mourinho that's going to be that right decision, but we certainly need to start adopting some new changes here so that we're not just recycling managers, going around in circles, paying Brighton loads of money, and then when De Zerbi screws it up, if we take him... Whoever Brighton hire next in three years, come on in, mate. We'll give you a little ride. Anyway, thoughts in the comments down below. Ruben Amarim, haven't spoken about him really today, or Xabi Alonso. Alonso's going to Liverpool, isn't he? That's one's pretty self-explanatory. And Amarim, we're going to save that for another one, I think, actually. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Come on, you blues.